Hi, my name is Johannes Krohn. I'm a principal technical marketing engineer in the Collaboration Technology Group. And in this video, I want to show you several aspects of managing phone numbers in WebEx Calling. We will look at adding numbers with phone number validation, bulk adding and resolving conflicts, activating numbers and deleting numbers. Let's start by looking at adding numbers. What we see here in Control Hub is that we just added a Chicago location which uses cloud-connected PSTN and there's no main number selected. And we have to add numbers for this location now. We can do this by going to the Numbers section and clicking on Add Numbers. Then we select our location, Chicago, and we can see again that this location uses cloud-connected PSTN. We click on Next, and then we end up in this mask here where we can enter the phone numbers that we want to add. The Activate Phone Numbers Later option allows us to add numbers and only activate them later. For example, if we just want to add numbers now to prepare for future provisioning and don't want to add these numbers to users or services numbers immediately. In this input field, we can now start to enter the phone numbers we want to add using any of the formats given in the examples above. So for example, I can add a phone number using just 10 digits. As soon as I hit comma, the phone number gets validated. And you can continue to add additional phone numbers. And you can also use, for example, here, the PLUSI164 form. If you use an invalid phone number, then it immediately shows in the input field and you can remove the number right away. If you want to add a larger set of phone numbers, you can prepare a text file with a bunch of phone numbers and then just copy and paste these phone numbers into the input field. And again, these phone numbers get immediately validated, at least the format gets checked. If you then hit save, the phone numbers get validated whether they can be entered into the various calling call routing system. As you can see in this example, there are two phone numbers which cannot be added. One is already in use, it's a duplicate, and the other one is unavailable, so probably used by a different customer. We have to remove these phone numbers from the list before we can hit save to actually add the phone numbers to WebEx calling. The newly added phone numbers immediately show up in the Numbers tab, and you can see them here when we search for all numbers in our Chicago location. With that, let's now look at number activation. In the meantime, we've added a number of users to our Chicago location and assigned numbers to them, but as you can see, all the numbers are still showing as inactive. Using these selectors at the top, we can filter the display to, for example, only show the unassigned numbers. Here we see the unassigned numbers. We can also switch to assigned numbers. These are all the numbers assigned to users. And you can see here at the bottom, there are actually two users which only have has been assigned an extension. There's no phone number associated with them. To activate numbers which have been assigned to users, we can switch to the assigned numbers filter. And then in that filter, we can either activate a single phone number, which then immediately shows as active, or we can select all phone numbers by clicking at the checkbox at the top and then click on activate numbers, which activates all remaining not yet activated numbers. That's how easy it is to activate all phone numbers. Let's take a look at deleting numbers. Here we show all assigned numbers, and as you can see in the last actions column on the screen, there's no delete option available. Assigned numbers cannot be deleted. If we switch to the unassigned numbers view, the action option shows up and we can delete a number by selecting the delete option. In this video, we reviewed number management in WebEx Calling. Specifically, we looked at adding numbers activating numbers and deleting numbers. For more collaboration videos, please take a look at the TME video library at the location shown at the bottom of the slide. Thank you.